Hey guys, welcome to Tornal Window. Today I'm going to go over the Petron E500 LFP, power, portable power station. And what it is, it's basically a mobile power station that you could bring with you to the job sites to charge your tools, or if you're going camping or anything like that, it's a mobile power station. So here it is. How you see it is how it comes. It comes in this heavy duty box here. I'm going to do an unboxing and what I'll also do is I'll do a little review on it and talk about it. So any of you guys interested in a little power station, you can check this guy out. So first let's get it on open first. Ooh, a double box. Look at that, two boxes, that's pretty cool. So I got two boxes on the inside, you got a bit of foam here. I guess two finger holes here to lift out this bit of foam. Nice, to package very well. Good strong bit of foam. We've got the user manual. I normally take that and just throw it out of the way on 90% of the things I buy, like any other guy. And then inside here you have your power station. First glance, looking at the top of it, looks great. Pretty well designed. Let me lift this guy on out, feel like, oh. Pretty light considering it's a power station. And that's pretty much it inside the box there. Turn this guy around. And let's take a look at this guy. So what you see is what you get here. First of all, you got a nice reflection on my belly right there, which is pretty good. Um, but what you see is what you got. Here, you, this is the Petcom E500 LFP portable power station. It has uh, two 600 watt AC outlets. It has fast charging. It has a whole bunch of things. And I'm going to dig on into it and show you guys all of that right now. So first thing you come up to it, just look at it from the outside. Looks pretty solid, pretty well built. Give it a little spin around. You've got your speaker there, or fan, whatever that is. On this side here, you've got some uh, extra cords in this little zipper pouch, I guess. And then on this side, it looks like we have a light and a couple of different plugs. I and I'll go into all this in a second. I'll just give you guys an overview of it. All right, so straight away, you come up. Right here, you have AC on and off. You have DC on and off. So let's click the AC on and off. I don't know if you can hear that. That was the fan kicking in. And you have your plugs here. So you have, you've got your USB plug, which is uh, 100 watt. You've got an 18 watt uh, USB C. I mean, I mean a, a USB C here, an 18 watt USB, and another USB. I have a cord somewhere. So you could plug in your USB C. This is my iPhone charger. Plug it right on in and you can plug this right on into your, your iPhone or whatever you have to charge. You got USB-C charging, you just plug it right on in nice and easy in the USB and then boom it charges your iPad just perfectly. Charging, that's a pretty cool thing. You also, I've got, this is one of the main reasons I'm going to use it here is I have my, uh, my battery plugs here for all my chargers. Majority of my power tools are battery nowadays. I don't have too many non-battery power tools, so I don't necessarily need power, but what I do need is I do need a charge. And th this is one of my number one motivators for getting it. So if you just plug it right on in, and then we should see the power come up once I attach a battery, which I have one right here. Boom, there goes the light. It comes on as a charge, which is pretty cool. That's a, a an awesome little thing that you could do. That, and this that's probably the main thing I'm gonna use this for, is charging my, um, whatever it is, my tools, um, anything else, wh whatever else I'm charging. Um, you could also use it, I'll, I'll probably use it for a coffee maker too. Um, when I'm on the road, I do have a little single pot coffee maker. So I, I, my goal is to probably use it for that also. Um, and But like I said, the main thing is this, and then obviously your cell phones, your iPads, wh whatever electronics you use. This is um, like the main reason for me getting this. Whoops. Um, also, taking a look around. So on top here, if you could see, you have uh, a wireless charging dock here. And that's for your cell phones or anything else that you could wirelessly charge. You could place them right on the top of here and charge it. Charging. So this guy has a total of nine outputs. And it, like I said, it was it's 600 watts of plug-in. It has a fast charging. It only takes an hour and a half to completely recharge this guy up to 100%. 
which is pretty incredible. You know, for an hour and a half real quick, and then you have it charged completely. You have a little compact thing on, on the road. You can't beat that. How do you beat it? It's designed for, like, portability in mind. So it's designed to take and carry with you and all stuff like that. So as you can see, it's super lightweight. It has multiple uh, safety features in it. So it has like an over voltage, an overheat, overload, short circuit, and then a self recovery protection. So you're basically not going to damage this or you're not going to damage your tool with this piece of equipment. It has the, the Life PO4 battery uh, technology and it's used in this power station and, and it's for basically designed for a long lifespan, it's like top of the line batteries. Over here, we have your cigarette lighter. So now this is your, your, your DC power on. You have the AC on and you have the DC on. So once my, I have my AC on, so these are turned on. If I click and hold this, boom, now my DC turns on. But uh, also my Wi-Fi signal turns on. And what you can do is you can go through your app and control all of this with your phone. On here we have the, uh, where you plug in your cigarette lighter um, to, you know, the old school things where you could plug in your cigarette lighter to run anything if you have something that you need to plug in to, for your car or anything like that you could use that another main thing that I like of this is that you if you have like a like I have in my truck here not, not this one I have a different one in my truck this is the M10 uh, the uh, M12 tire inflator I have one of these in my truck that's on battery and it also I also have a charger with it so even though this is on battery let's say your battery dies I could reduce it up with this my goal is to keep this in my, my vehicle at all times. So I basically have that this power station with me, whether I go to the beach with the kids or maybe on a job, anything like that. I have a little bit of portable power here to work in whatever I need it for. All right, spinning it on around here. So here you have an LED light, which is always handy. I'm also going to, that's another thing I'm going to use this for is hurricanes. I live in South Florida. Hurricanes are very, very prevalent here. And it's not so much the hurricanes we worry about, you worry about the, the power after. Well, one hurricane years ago, I, I lost power for like four weeks in my house. Um, I had a generator, it was a little generator, but then I couldn't get fuel, and it was just a nightmare. If you don't know, nowadays, it, pretty much, it's like Wi-Fi. Everything in, in houses now run on Wi-Fi, just like everything in houses run on power. So you need power to survive. So without power, it was a nightmare. If I had this, it would at least make it that much better. I could at least charge the cell phones or I could work my coffee maker or any, any type of small little things I could run with this. So wish I had it back then, but I didn't. But it's part of another reason why I'm motivated to buy this. I see a long press to turn the light on and a quick press to change the brightness. It has low, medium, high, and strobe. So in here, this is your, uh, this is your uh, charging ports. So basically, uh, you inside of, I'll get it out to show you. So inside of this bag that's attached on the back, you have this nice, beautiful uh, zipper bag, Peclon zipper bag. Inside of here, you got a couple of different plugs. One is you have your cigarette lighter, and you can plug it right on in there and plug it into your cigarette lighter in your car to charge it. Well, the other one is the way I'm going to use it is you got your power cord. Now you plug that right into here like so and then plug this right into the wall. And like I said before, an hour and a half charge and this guy's fully charged, ready to go. So that's all awesome to have them little cords here. I'll probably, inside of here, I'll probably keep these two cords and I'll add like a couple of iPhone chargers or something, something like that in here. You know, just add a couple of different chargers just to have on standby ones that I use a lot. All right, that's that side, moving on around. Onto the back, I don't see anything interesting there except the blank screen. <laughs> That's about it. And then moving on around to this side, all we have is the fan here. That, that's about it from showing the machine. Let me show you how to work it with the uh, iPhone. All right, so if I come to my iPhone, I search the app, Peck. Uh, there it is, top one. I'm trying to do it one-handed here. Actually, I could do it with two hands. It loads up. I'll pop your, your device there. That's my device. I click on it. Now, once I'm into your device, this is everything that uh, could tell you about this little screen here. So, so if I come here, the battery is 98% uh, full. I could turn off the DC power, turn off the AC power. If we give it a spin around here, let's take a look at the LED light. Let, let's turn on the LED light. Big it. Turn off the LED light. And it's so awesome. You, you can work so many different things on the inside of here. 
it has all these different like places you can go to all their insides and everything you, you can put on eco mode you know it tells you the ac charging it is a full full a line of things that you could do with this so it's a really awesome feature to have that with that wi-fi you know we all love that wi-fi nowadays so i do like it all right i think that's about it from the pacron e500 if you stayed around for this long i appreciate you watching uh thanks for sharing this with me and this experience let me know let me know what you guys think it is is the Pecron E500 LFP, is that something you guys would use? Is that something you wouldn't use? I mean, I know it's handy. It's a handy, handy bit of kit, and I'm sure we could all use it. But is it something you would want to purchase? Well, uh, let me know your comments, concerns, shares, or whatever on the bottom. I'll attach the link below for this. So if you want to get your own, uh, you can. The link will be in the description and everything else. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Tolo Anoon.